Why do you go on these book tours? Well, to sell books and to be able to talk about uh, things that I think are important. You know, every day when I go to a place, I generally have several interviews with the people I'm going to visit in the next few days. So I get on television and radio, and I'll be with Oprah, Oprah Winfrey uh, on Thursday, making a Sunday movie. So I get a chance to talk to a large audience, much more than I do when I'm teaching at Emory University. I'm a professor there, I've been, have been for 33 years. So it's just to share my ideas with folks. Can you talk about your impression of the city of Portland and your time here? I always so like it here. I like to come back. In fact, I was here about three or four weeks ago. I met my wife here, and we drove up to uh, Washington, to Bremerton, to see the USS Jimmy Carter and to uh, see him change commanders then. What do you think about the new uh, deal with the Iran? Good, very good. I have complete confidence in it. I believe it's good for Iran, good for the United States, good for the world, and good for Israel. And uh, I have complete confidence in John Kerry. I've known him for many years, and if he says the deal is binding and uh, that Iran will be punished if they violate it, I believe him. I hope, I hope the Congress will approve it. You were quoted recently saying that uh, Jesus would approve of gay marriage. In my marriage. opinion. I, you know, there's nothing in the scripture about it, but <laughs> my, in my opinion, that's true, yes. You're a steward of peace. How are we doing in this country, in the world? How are we doing? Well, we've been in <clears throat> a war with about 30 different countries since the Second World War. And uh, we stayed at war almost full time, except for four years. I won't mention which four years it was. but. Uh, when I was in the White House, we never dropped a bomb, we never launched a missile, we never fired a bullet. And we brought peace to our country and to a lot of other nations. And I hope that someday the United States will be a champion of peace. When's your next book coming out? I don't know yet. I haven't written it yet. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Thank you. I appreciate him as a person. There aren't really a lot of people left that have ethics and morals and make decisions based on those anymore. So I wanted to meet him. My husband and I are both admirers of Jimmy Carter and all he's done not only during his presidency but afterwards and all the good things he's done for people. I think that he was a very nice man and he worked through a lot of difficult issues and he's managed to stay so relevant. He's a wonderful human being. We're lucky to have him. President Carter, I thank you for giving me, I mean, for giving our country peace that I owe him a big apology for voting for John Anderson. <laughs> I think someone's making a lot of money here. <laughs>